One, two, three. Wow. Welcome, ladies and germs, back, back to the Seven Sloan Podcast. I am one of the hosts. Uh, this is my beautiful wife, Six. I am Lusion. And we have not been here. How many? I want to, I want to check. Can I check? You should them? check while I talk to them. Biggest Never. pet peeve. I can't, I can't have my teeth hurting or anything. Like I feel like I have my, my teeth are going to fall out. I'm very subconscious of when my teeth get hit. What I don't get about you is you dream. Like, you literally, you fall asleep laying on your stomach, which means your face is literally planted into the pillow. So, obviously, you're putting pressure on teeth, and you literally have dreams, like, at least once a week about your teeth falling out. Ever since I forgot Smile Direct, I haven't had any dreams about Shout out to Smile Direct. Yo, can we get Smile Direct to sponsor this pod one day? That would be amazing. You will be a great spokesman. Let's see those pearly whites. (laughs) Your boy needs it bad. I don't know. Okay. All right. Ready, guys? Everyone, don't worry. If you're not listening, if you're just watching, um, excuse me. I'm sorry. If you're just listening to the podcast, yeah. If you're just listening to the podcast, don't worry. Try to see this on YouTube or just see my smile anywhere. Excuse me. Give me one second. Here's my smile. I don't think they can tell. Here's the problem. My teeth are jagged. Okay. My teeth are jagged. I got these big fangs, but... Like the way my face is, the yeah. way my head is, it kind of it kind of fits. It's not me. bad, like it's not jagged. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not horrible. Like it's not like it's okay, like bad. look like <laughs> mine were bad. Like I've had braces before. See, okay? that's yeah, I that's feel horrible a problem. for you. I've had braces for two years. Wisdom teeth pulled out. I I have not, but I was with her the whole time, and I've experienced that just seeing it from that perspective. They give you this sheet of paper, and they go, mm-hmm. hey. This, this is a list of stuff that could go wrong, that could happen. And, I mean, we're talking, like, almost like a two-pager of laundry list of things that could happen. And she literally got, what, everything, everything wrong? Everything. Like, it was it was so bad. I felt so horrible. Like, you were out for two weeks solid. I have a phobia, and I've only probably met one person that has this phobia. It's Chance's friend. I have a phobia of throwing up. Like, I do not go near you. And I've been dealing with this phobia since I was, like, eight. Like, I will be mean to you. I will fucking have a panic attack. If you're in the car telling me you don't feel good, I will have you go drive home. Like, And when she says says you, she's talking about her own husband, her own life partner. She has kicked me out of our bedroom saying, you're sick, you might throw up. Yeah, you're sleeping in the guest room. It's not my fault. That is a sick person. <laughs> so, like, he took care of me while I was... Like, my wisdom teeth. Like, not so a funny. lot of people throw up in their wisdom teeth. Like, when you do videos, you know, like, you expect these people, like, on videos. You're Be like, funny. oh, my God. They're high. Yeah, they're high. They're funny. They're this. No. None of that. I was not high. I was gagging through the whole ride. Oh, you poor thing. I was throwing, like, gagging, like, dry heaving. And dry heaving hurts more. Because it was the dry gauze, heaving, right? Yeah. You were choking no, on the No, no. Oh. Dry heaving hurts way more than throwing up. And I was driving because I was car sick. I was so fucking like, they took me, like, my procedure only lasted 20 minutes. It's supposed to be an hour procedure and it lasted 20 minutes. Imagine my body weight going under anesthesia and like coming out of it. Like, as soon as the sun hit my face, I went, boof. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is not going to be good. And like, through the whole drive, like, I was supposed to stay upstairs in the room for like, my whole wisdom teeth, I could not go upstairs. I was so drunk, I could not go upstairs. And this asshat decided Who? to eat pizza. <laughs> oh my god. In guys, front of me. Let me tell you, it was I literally, threw up because of the smell. It Ow. was the, some of the best pizza. Oh my god, excuse me. I am so sorry. Guys, it Why? was some. I'm, I want to look up for topics. Oh. It was literally some of the best pizza I ever had that night. But literally, like, I hope you know, I, I feel horrible that, you know, obviously I wasn't the one going through this pain. But, man, it was so nice to take care of you because we were only dating for a year. Oh, no, no, no. It was not nice. You what? still left me the third day. Like, I need to go see a show. So take oh. care of yourself. <laughs> no, you said you told me. Oh, yeah, no, you're fine. Go for it. You You knew you were healthy. Did you know Frank Ocean came out with a single today? I, I saw that. Um, did you listen to it? Are you? Would you say you're a Frank Ocean fan? No. I know. I only, heard, I only said that just to. I know. I've never heard people. one song of Frank Ocean. A potato blew around. That, that's that him? him. That's OG Frank. 
she could have easily left my ass. Been like, yo, you crazy. You're I, crazy. I literally was a, I was a vinyl snob, underground hip hop head. And anything that was on the radio, I absolutely hated. And it was just gross. And I just wanted underground stuff. Blah, blah, blah. It was such a negative and disgusting mindset. I hope you know, like, when you used to come Ugh. to class and, like, think you were all shit, it cringed me out so bad. Did it really? Yeah, like, dead like, ass. What were you thinking? Like, God, do I, do it's I? It's fucking embarrassing. Like, are you, just shut the fuck up. Why? What would like, I do? you would come in class, like, sorry. Like, no offense. Teachers are supposed to be there to teach kids. And, like, you know how many shit students get to just shit on teachers? Wait, I when did I come in like that? that? I just feel like you're like, ugh. Like oh, zero period. I just honestly, honestly, I just feel like you thought you were hot shit, and you're like, whatever. I don't care. I did think I was hot shit. So it's just like it annoyed me sometimes when you would come in class. It was just like I you was, would say stupid shit, or like I was that annoying. I, I, mm, trust me. I mean, there's a, there was a lot you more were, annoying. There was people, a lot of things you did. I'm just like, oh my god, am I really liking him? Yeah. Yeah. There's oh my god. Stuff. No, you're good. You're good now. You're good now. Thank you. That's actually a big compliment. What is that? Can we shout out to t- shout out to Jack? Stober. I can what? never stop her. I'm going to say shout out to Jack Stober for literally making it on the trendy Paul page Rudd. on YouTube. I am so proud of that man. He's a great musician. Well, why don't you give him an update? I feel like you've been wanting to give everybody an update about your... About my stuff? Yeah. Ooh, I would love to. Well, it's been two months. Well, I feel like when we did re- when we recorded the other podcast, like... Yeah, just you're right. Just, like, wow, up. you're right. I would love to... T- so, yeah, quick, quick update. Been doing um, an incredible amount of work through um constant tiktok uploads and youtube i mean you guys see all this stuff but even even behind the scenes stuff like um trap nation and an extremely large youtube platform uh they contacted me wanting to work with me um been you know quit talk- your job yeah oh yeah i mean i quit my day job obviously and uh I'm gonna go look for a house soon we're gonna be looking for a house finally i mean we have been together five years and we just our anniversary just came up three days ago and that was just what for our, our like our dating um anniversary but i mean we just hit our, our one year marriage anniversary right and so in that span of time we've lived with each other most of our relationship but we have never had our own place to call our own home ever and like we truly believe have you been hearing the way i talk i feel like i haven't said like that much yeah you're good you're good talking i think it's a red bull okay and the alcohol and the alcohol oh yeah guys by the way we're drinking on uh vodka and red bull cheers here's well, the motherfucking is Haley here she is here i opened the door for her anyways um it feels like when it when it comes to having the, our own place i truly believe it can change things for motivation the, wise. the better motivation i remember when we shared an apartment with her her sister and her boyfriend and even though that we had roommates and they were roommates, roommates. we like should we first start moving into your channel and then start slowly moving into our channel i would love to do that i would definitely love to do that because i just i i'm i'm so i'm so happy that through man I, I cannot go a single time not talking about tiktok and how great that platform is and how how just the amount of incredible things it is stirred from from that app people who keep thinking it's a stupid app is just so blind and asleep yeah. but with that being said i'm just so grateful because you know i have a really good friend and uh he makes an extra extraordinary living um purely off spotify plays and um even though that's incredible and that's awesome it's just like it makes me so happy that you know you guys love you us so much yeah like you guys love us so much as people and as a brand where you guys know that there's more than just music to illusion and the whole team and uh like when you say illusion you, you guys always said we yeah like, I, lo- oh, I love your guys's music like e- even though tech she doesn't know the the tech technicalities of actual music production she is a huge huge part of the, the inside scoop how how it sounds the the post production of everything and in guiding the song and creating a story through these songs for people to be using them through tiktok and you know what i'm saying a lot of trends that i started was because of her and she told me to do everything so it, it's a you know any trust me i know a lot of people that they feel offended or they feel like what are you talking about what, do you, what, what is this we i earn this kind of thing i'm I that way this. yeah you are that way you don't <laughs>